Hi everyone, my name is Moens. My real name is Mirelis Ocasio Hernandez. I'm from Puerto Rico and you can find me in fontendesign.com. I'm here to show you a quick demonstration of how to use our templates in Photoshop Element 12. First of all, you, you can open your Photoshop Element 12 program and, and I will use not the quick or the guided uh, version but the expert because it's the closest one that I use in um, in the new Photoshop that I'm that I'm using constantly every day but I will show you this video just for you because many of you work in Photoshop Element 12 first of all you will find when you open one of our templates that you will find all the layers on the right side how you can hide a layer? Well, you can uh, select the eye that indicates the layer visibility and you can click on the eye so you can hide the layer that you want to hide. And it will still there. If you want to delete it, you have to move, uh, click drag and drop and throw it in the trash icon. But we will hide it. Second of all, you have to open all your image that you want to use in that template. As I have here, these beautiful pictures um, by um, her name is. Um, I let me remember. Nina Louvier. Oh my God, she's my friend. <laughs> Nina Louvier. That she's moving to uh, Toronto soon so you will have her near Toronto okay let's start I'm gonna go to the image clipping mask and you can find the first image clipping mask here so I will find the Dropbox uh, I will select the from from uh, from the, the drop down below layer this image. If if I struggling speaking English because yo hablo español, okay? I, I speak Spanish, so this is my main language and my second language that I am learning is English. So you you're gonna go to your image to your desired image and you're gonna hit command. Uh, a that is select all or you can go here up here to select in your menu and click select and select all and then you will do command a C that is copy you can do that again in the menu uh, by going to edit and make a uh, click on copy so we are go going back to our main uh, Photoshop template and we're gonna paste it. How we do that? With common and the letter B. Here we got. Here we have it. Here we have the image, and it's already inside the clipping mask. That's the great thing about our templates that are simple, and you can always um, uh, do less step, saving you time. I'm making your work look very very professional so there we have it was it it was very easy uh, you have the first one now we are going to keep doing that in all of the rest of the image so I will close this one because I already use it uh, it's important that if you have any questions that you can contact me because I'm available to answer things, um, I want to be close, uh, and I want to be be the person that help you to get through this. If your knowledge is basic, maybe you can learn something more with me. Uh, again, I I want to make more tutorials and um, of the things that you need to learn about Photoshop. Not not such as editing because I know you 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 may, you're you're maybe a photographer and other photographers that I know 
uh, how to they know how to edit and manipulate the, the, the photos but maybe in in things that I can help you is you know branding and everything else um, let me put this one this one over here so I'm gonna keep um, placing the image This, this is the second one. Yay! Oh, another thing, it's important that when you when you correct, when you resize your picture, uh, how you how you resize your picture with hitting command T, the letter T, um, and you can resize the picture with holding the, the let me erase this one holding the the shift key so you can you can um, you can resize the picture in the correct dimension so there you have it and I'm gonna keep doing that And also, um, I, I want to be able to change the colors, so I, I went to my layer palette and I hit the background, down below the background titles, uh, you find different layers, one from the background that you double click and you select the colors that you want for the background, if you like to drop some colors out of your pictures you can do it very easy and this is the one that that appear here uh, like a mustard color so you can select another color that you want oh I like this one this is pretty also in 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 our templates you can change the letters if you don't want that font uh, but mainly you can correct what is um, what is uh, what is writing I put oh, I always put some demonstrations uh, some uh, writing but you can do whatever you want you you can duplicate the layers you can transform uh, the size of the font, uh, you can play around and if you see all the layers are um, separately so you can hide some layers you can... Uh, one thing I want to show you yes, this is very slow today I'm so sorry But basically, uh, when I wa what I want to uh, I want to tell you is that you can play around. You can discover things. You can uh, make a new a new um, a new file, and you can drag and drop these layers to another file. So you can make uh, your business card uh, with the same you know the, the same feeling. So here we have, okay, let's put fontendesign.com. Oh no, let's put ninalubier.com. I think it's Nina Lubier Photography. But that will do. Also, you can change the color of the, of the font. You have to double click and go down below here and select your color. Alright, if you want a new color, something different, you can hit there and you can select your color, whatever you want. Another thing that I want to close up is showing you that you can when you finish your 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 photo editing and editing everything you can go here to under modify and select the crop icon and you can crop this thing 
just to let you know and make it a social um, social uh, board yes you can crop that and save save us as, a, as another file um, and you can share that in your Pinterest uh, web page uh, blog Facebook or whatever whatever social network that you have that you can share pictures and it's better for you and it's good looking so you can <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> Puerto Rico is getting hot this day and the allergies are all across the the island the island so excuse me so basically the final thing that I want to tell you is that you can you can do you can crop ahead everything that you want to crop and you can do many different things for you to share on the internet using your photography or your products or whatever you wish to do if it's a personal use you can put your family pictures and throw this in the mail so your family will see your and like a special little mini tiny album on the web um, I think that's all I'm gonna finish uh, this this product I'm gonna hit redo crap no on the undo undo crap and undo crap and I will finish putting the image so I think that's all <laughs> thank you for listening to me uh, I know it's difficult to get to understand me but this is what I love to do and this is what I want for you to be learning with me and thank you all so have a nice day and thank you <laughs> see you around at fontendesign.com